hi, good morning, buenos dia. Welcome to today's YouTube video where we're gonna be talking about how I f***ed up my life at 30. As you can probably tell from the thumbnail, the title, I'm here to tell you about me quitting my six-figure law firm job at the age of 30, which is when everyone around you is getting married, having kids, they are buying a house or have already bought a house. So they have like a super clear idea of like what their career path is, what their life is looking like and what it's gonna look like for, you know, maybe five, 10, 20 years to come. But me on the other hand, I don't have kids. I'm not married. I don't own a house and I'm not trying to own a house anytime soon. So I guess on paper, it might look like I literally have nothing going for me, especially when you add the fact that I just quit my law firm job, which was a good job. But that's actually not true since going through the process of quitting my job. And yes, it was a process. I feel like God has been teaching me lessons after lessons about the things that like really matter, as corny as it might sound, the things that really matter in life. And I've been refocusing and recentering. And so I feel like I've been learning a lot the last couple months. So welcome to Life Lessons at 30. And today we're discussing lesson one. So I guess to start things off, I'll just give you guys some context on me. I am a 30 year old Puerto Rican woman. And up until the end of July, I was working at like a global, like a very big law firm um, in the finance department, not as a lawyer, not as an attorney. I did really love the job. And you know, I had a great team with me. I felt fulfilled. I was progressing in the department I was in to the point where I got promoted into a leadership role, which came with a six figure salary. and. Obviously, my parents' heads were in the clouds because as any parent, any individual knows who had parents move to the US from a different country or whatever, like you know that your parents really just want you to come to the US and go to school, get an education, and then blossom into this like working professional who has it all together and you're making good money so that you never have to struggle the way your parents struggled, et cetera, et cetera. I did get to work from home in this job. My manager was super nice. So like a lot of people would argue that I had it good and I'm not contesting that. For a while there, I definitely did. But you know, over time things change or people change. And in this case, it was both. To wrap it all up in like a clean and concise way, I would say that like things changed at the law firm first and it really became a place that like, it just wasn't the same as it was when I had first started working there. And like the new normal became something that was like super unsustainable and unhealthy. So I knew that I had to quit, but I told myself to stick around because I was like, you know, I get to work from home. And so that makes it easy for me to like do YouTube on the side, not knowing that like it would get to the point where I could no longer do anything except work. So that wasn't even something that was happening anymore. And also because I was like, oh, I make good money. I could use that money to help my parents save more, pay off my student loans. So I decided to stick it out longer than I really wanted to. And guess what happened? It went to shit. The job became so emotionally and mentally taxing y'all that it got to the point that like, I literally had nothing left to give at all for like anything that wasn't work. It sounds dramatic, like for real, for real, but I would literally clock out from work and I would march myself straight to my bedroom and I would just lay in bed. I would lay in bed and watch TV or play video games or something because I just had no more energy to put into literally any other part of my life. Like. I would clock out, lay in the bed, and that was it. I no longer had energy to put into my YouTube channel for filming, editing, planning, scripting videos, literally none of that. Um, I had no energy to clean my house, cook anything, help my boyfriend, take care of my dog, take care of myself, my own health, my fitness, like literally everything, when I mean everything, everything went down the drain. I would say at that point, which was like, May through July that I was literally only living to work and I was still the same miserable person on the clock than I was like off the clock. It's not like I was only this unhappy like after I clocked out, like no, I was completely different. And like for me, that was like a big thing because like my parents emigrated to the US, okay? Like if your parents moved to the US from another country, you know that like 
they work hard as hell to like provide for your family and get things done not knowing the language blah 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 so like you had a really good example growing up of like what it looked like to have a good work ethic and like put your best foot forward when you were working and I was completely robbed of that because of my job. I literally did not care. I hated every aspect of my job and like I tried to start taking more time off than I used to to try to like alleviate, take a break, but it really wouldn't even matter because we would come back to a mountain of work to catch up on correct. So like time off was never even time off because I would be off and then during the days I was off work, I would just be like dreading coming back because I knew what awaited me once I clocked back in the next day. So why am I sharing all these details with you guys? I'm sharing them because I wanna like paint the picture of like, the changes in my job not only affected who I was at work, but they affected me personally outside of work. So it completely changed who I was as a person. And it affected my mood, my happiness, my outlook on life even, which sounds so dramatic to say. Literally every aspect of my life was affected and like poisoned from having this job. But for some reason, I just kept telling myself that I needed to stay. Looking back on those months from like January to July, like it's so obvious now that like my body and like my heart and my spirit were like really trying to tell me that I just needed to let the job go like I was irritable all the time I had a short fuse with everybody over everything it doesn't matter how simple or easy something was like the smallest thing could go wrong and I would explode like that and it was just really weird because that's not who I was as a person and I never once thought that a job could affect me that way but it did recently I was like hanging out with a friend of mine who's on her own like quitting corporate America journey, which is super exciting too. And um, I'll actually link her TikTok in case you guys feel like uh, taking a peek and looking at you know her content and her platforms. But anyway, when we were talking, we were talking about this whole situation that we're both in right now, right? And she said that our bodies try very hard to communicate to us when something isn't a good fit or isn't working anymore but we just don't do a good job of listening. And when I tell you that that shit hit me so hard because at that moment, this was in like June, July or something. So I was already like in the deep end of feeling how I was feeling in terms of like my job and being unhappy. So when she said it, I was just like, damn, like Raleigh, you knew in January you wanted to quit this job, but you decided to stay so you can make more money and pay off your debt, blah, 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 blah. And what happened as a result of that? Like you were mad anxious anytime you were on the clock. You got mean towards people in your life who like you love and weren't deserving of it. And you like lost your passion. Like you weren't doing anything for yourself anymore. You weren't doing YouTube. You were mad unhealthy. Like you were depressed, like high key. And it's just like so obvious, right? Like looking back on it, like those were all things that weren't part of who I am. And so that was my body communicating to me. Like there is a source of unhappiness in your life and you're keeping it there. So here's all this negative stuff that's happening as a result. And when I tell y'all that like I knew in 2022 that I wasn't gonna be doing this job in the fall of 2023, like I already knew that, like I manifested that, which is like a whole nother conversation because it's actually insane. But like I already knew. And so I knew what was in store for me. I knew what I had planned for myself, but I was fighting against it for some reason. And I say all this to say that like, God's plan is truly bigger than whatever you try to tell yourself or force yourself to do because I truly feel like God heard me in September of 2022 when I said that that was going to be like my last year end with the firm that come January I was going to be gone and he said okay I'm gonna hold you to it because as the months went by there were like clear and undeniable signs like so many of them that like this job just like didn't serve me anymore and I forced myself to like push past it and like ignore it and they would just were constant like they kept showing up over and over and over until eventually I just put in my notice at the job and when I tell you like the immediate relief I felt when I put in that notice was insane like truly a godsend truly eye-opening because I put in a notice and everything so like I was still gonna work I think it was three weeks after I put in my notice and even with having more time still I just felt this instant sense of like 
relief and like everything just made sense everything was right again and so that for me just really was like the cherry on top to show like how wrong it was to stay there you know obviously hindsight is 2020 and it's easy to sit and look back on things and be like oh yeah everything made sense like obviously that's what i had to be doing but you know it can be hard to like see things or um see the forest from the trees whenever you're like so deep into it so like i don't give myself a hard time for like sticking it out longer than i honestly should have i feel like all throughout my teens and 20s i spent a lot of time like doing things i shouldn't have been doing and not listening to myself and i know y'all were right up there with me actually because i know that y'all were out there hanging out with people you shouldn't be hanging out with bad friends spending time with guys that you knew weren't good for you working a job that wasn't worth the damn like that kind of thing so i feel like now that i'm 30 and um i've gone through those experiences that happen to so many people and especially women that um, I'm more settled, right? And I'm at the point where I want to listen to myself more, give myself more love that way, and not fight things so hard that like clearly my body or like God or the universe, whatever you wanna call it, is like trying to communicate with me. So like with this whole quitting the job thing, I feel like I've finally broken free of that cycle of like not listening to myself and just sticking around in a bad situation. Maybe it's because I'm wiser, maybe it's because I'm older or I've just been through it enough times to just finally recognize the pattern and break free of it but either way I stopped fighting what I already knew and just started listening to myself by quitting this job that was no longer good for me I did what I needed to do to get back to being okay and being healthy and I really feel like it's a decision that's fully going to alter the trajectory of the rest of 2023 and maybe even my life which sounds insane to say so six months into 2023 i fully embraced the start of a new season in my life and i encourage anyone who's watching to do the same <laughs>